Hi everyone. Today I'm going to discuss about the LD50, ED50 value. Myself, Dr. K. Manohar Babu, Professor VGS College of Pharmacy. So the basic use of LD50 is determine the potency of the toxicity. So it can be used in several terms, LD50, LC50, etc. So recently, the incident which happened in the Vizac, here the uh, the the toxic vapors effect can be determined in terms of LC50. So we'll discuss like how to determine a toxic compound, how we can compare the toxicity of a particular chemical with other chemicals. In this class, I'm going to discuss about LD50, LC50, dose response curve, measurement of toxicity. So here. Uh, LD50 can be determined by arithmetical method and graphical method and at the significance. So different chemical causes different toxic effects. Comparing the toxicity of one with another is hard. To compare the toxic potency of different chemicals, researchers must measure the same effect. One way is to carry out the lethality test by measuring how much of the chemical is required to cause death. The smaller the LD50 value, the more toxic is the chemical. And the larger the LD50 value, lower the toxicity of that particular chemical. So here we know that uh, various chemicals, various poisons act by different ways. Say for example, cholinergic, uh, cholinergic mimetics or uh, atropine-like drugs. Okay, all these, the mechanism of these poisons are completely different. So, we have to compare, we should have, we should have the same, uh, same property. So, here we will we'll take lethality as a single uh, property by which we can compare the toxicity. LD50 determines acute toxicity. LC50 is the lethal concentration required to kill 50% of the population. This is majorly uh, to study the environmental toxins. So here, once we determine the LD50 in mice, so we'll express this LD50 in milligrams per kg, mg per kg. So if you want to uh, know the toxic levels in human, so normally we'll take the weight of the individual, and multiplied with LD50 of the rat. That gives uh, here, uh, benzene, for example, benzene LD50 is 930 milligrams per kg. So here we can simply calculate 9, 930 milligrams per kg into 70 kg of the individual. That gives 65.1 gram is LD50 for human. So this is how uh, by simple calculation, toxicity can be measured by various uh, parameters. No toxic effect level. The largest dose which produces no observable toxic effect. No observable effect level, which represents the threshold for producing any observable pharmacological or toxicological effect. No observed adverse effects level and maximum tolerance dose. Dose response curve on x axis the log dose and y axis is the response. So, here the at a low concentration will not observe any toxic effects. 
so if you uh, increases the concentration those uh, start observing these toxic effects so ld50 is the concentration of the drug required to kill 50 percent of the animals so it's inter animals inter individual behavior that some of the animals may might die at around uh, ld ld10 and 10 animals died at ld10 so here so it's uh, not all the animals behave same in all the concentration so some are very sensitive some may not be so in that case uh, to kill 50 percent of total animals the dose required is set to be the ld50 effective dose the effective dose are used to indicate the effectiveness of substance normally effective dose refers to the beneficial effects such as uh, relief of pain or any useful outcome so even it can be is said to be harmful effects such as paralysis the specific endpoint must be indicated so here the effective uh, dose uh, 0 10 ed 50 ed 90 so here the response of the individual to a different concentration is depicted like this the toxic doses the toxic doses are used to indicate the doses that causes the adverse toxic effects the usual dose estimate includes toxic dose 0 Therapeutical index is the is used to compare the therapeutically effective dose to the toxic dose of the pharmaceutical agents. The TI is the statement of relative safety of the drug. It is the ratio of the dose that produces the toxicity to the dose needed to produce the desired therapeutical response. The common method used to derive the therapeutical index is the TD50 toxic dose 50 by ed50 therapeutic dose so for example uh, td50 of a uh, compound is 200 and the effective dose is 2 million uh, 220 milligrams so td is uh, 200 by 20 that is it is the safest drug if the drug is given 10 times to reach the td50 so it is said to be the safest drug so here the diagrammatic representation so this is the uh, subtherapeutic concentration and this is the toxic concentration so your drug concentration should be in between these to have the maximum uh, therapeutic outcome so this is called as therapeutic window so here the therapeutic uh, index it is said to be uh, the different concentration of the drug which produces so here the x-axis drug dose and y-axis drug response so here the, uh, the difference in different and uh, the concentration of the same drug that gives you the therapeutic index so this is td 50 by ed 50 that gives the therapeutic dose next we discuss about how we can determine the ld 50 normally by using the mice because this is the smallest animals and uh, its uh, maintenance is very cheap and convenient so that is the reason why we select the mice to determine the ld50 values to test com uh, the test compound was determined at various doses to group 5 to 10 so mice of both sexes and equal in number the number of every group should be more than the number of groups to avoid the calculator errors so here we'll take uh, say for example five groups if you taken so each group should consist at least six animals six to ten animals so here before actual ld50 determination a pilot study on a small group of mice to select the dose range so if the molecule is very new okay we don't know the basic uh, like uh, the range of toxicity so in that case first we take our uh, two mice two mice and will give different doses so only two mice are are used here the dose are uh, administered up and down staircase method so here it means that first we will give say for example 50 milligrams per kg of the unknown drug unknown chemical compound so if uh, we'll and uh, observe for 24 hours so depending on the observations we can increase 
or decrease the dose so this is the pre preliminary okay so when the approximate dose ranges is found the final more descriptive ld50 assay method or employed so here the methodology how we are going to determine the ld50 so after calculation of the dose range the minimum three to four doses within the range in a large group of animals in uh, each group is calculated the final dose is determined in terms of milligrams per kg the source of animal sex age body weight dose time of injection is recorded for further references uh, for example for experiment the animal should be placed separately in a glass cylinder for suitable conditions okay so next uh, the first method is arithmetical method this method is also known as carbers method it is the simplest and crude method of calculating ld50 can be performed in small group of animals in this method the interval mean of number of dead in each group of animals is used as well as the difference between the doses for the same interval and produce the interval mean and dose difference is obtained so the results from the doses larger than the lethal dose and smaller than the minimum dose is excluded the sum product is divided by a number of animals in the group and resulting quotient in a subtracted from the least lethal dose obtained so here we'll use this formula 100 minus a into b by n whereas a is a dose difference so this is the dose difference of applied and mean mortality so mean mortality so multiplication of dose difference and mean mortality by number of the animals that gives the ld50 the other method is a graphical method is also known as miller and tainter method more accurate than the carbers method in this method the observed values are converted into probit using a probit table and plotting against the so here uh, here i am uh, explaining how the probit is calculated so ld50 value uh, say for example ld50 of thymoquinone and five doses were given interperitoneally to five group of rats uh, 10 in each group after 24 hours the number of uh, deceased rats was counted in each group and percentage of mortality is calculated the uh, corrected percentage is then transferred into the probit so this is the this gives uh, the uh, probit number so depending on this percentage of the dead the probit number is calculated and accordingly we will plot the graph between these uh, probit values so where the log uh, uh, ld50 can be directly calculated by this graph so as an aid so a significant use of this ld50 is it is an aid in developing emergency procedure in case of major spill or accidents uh, example the Vizag incidents LZ polymer to help develop the guidelines for the use of appropriate safety clothing and equipment for the development of transportation regulations as a aid in establishing occupational exposure limits as a part of the information in material safety data sheets so this is the basic use of ld50 which has to be studied for each and so hope this video is useful thank you